Hi there, my name's Amanda Cooper and I'm the Chief Information Officer for Thames Valley Police and Hampshire Constabulary. And uh, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, a career in technology, um, why I do that, what's important to me about it and, uh, and the fun you can have. So my job for both police forces, the best thing about it is the tangible value and difference that uh, implementing technology into a public service, especially a 24-7 emergency service, the tangible value that that has. I'm working with really great teams who are able to provide technology solutions that help the public, help to keep them safe, help to prevent crime and investigate crime, um, and also help their officers doing those very jobs. Seeing what a difference that makes, both for the performance of the force and for the outcomes that we get in our investigations, that really makes a difference to me and that is the best thing. A lot of that involves problem solving, as I said before, working with great teams and technology teams and having that ability to really translate from quite technology speak and language into what that makes from an operational business benefit point of view. That's a really enjoyable bit. So um, how I got into this, my goodness me, um, that was quite a long journey. When I was at school, I really wanted to do science. I love science and technology. And my first job was in hospital labs, uh, looking at blood, what caused certain diseases for people, and then helping to cross-match people if they'd been in accidents or had uh, emergency operations and needed blood transfusions. I really loved working in a, a laboratory environment, doing analytical services, helping consultants come to conclusions about what was wrong with people and making them better. But I really liked that operational environment um, and enjoyed it so much so that I chose to do that rather than to go to university. And I got my qualifications through day release, kind of what you would call an apprenticeship scheme these days. And I felt that I got a combination of work experience and it's those steps, I think, that took me to where I am today uh, alongside academic learning, which I got to do one day a week in various institutions around the country. So um, I guess my first job is quite different to the job that I do today. It might look like that on paper. Um, but again, it's all around working with people working with teams and technology, and again, doing that problem solving and making a difference. So I think at the time that I started in that first job, did I know what I really wanted to be? Did I know what I really wanted to do when I left school? I don't think I did. Um, but what I did do, and the advice I would give to anybody who's in that position where they're not quite sure what they want to do, the advice I give them is, do what you enjoy. Absolutely, take a step around something you enjoy doing. And if you're good at it as well, that's an added bonus. Because if you enjoy something and you're good at it, things will be much easier. They'll be much easier most of the time, but at times when things are a bit difficult, a bit hard, that will help you through it and that will carry you through it and be prepared to take a bit of a risk around those things. Something that may feel like a big step, may make you feel nervous, but if it's something that you enjoy, take courage and do it. Because as the athletes will tell you, nerves is just really feelings of excitement. Um, but the main thing is, if you enjoy it, it will work out. And don't worry if you haven't got a plan, really don't worry. I think that makes you much more flexible much more open about your choices and that can take you into some very interesting places.